We lost two officers and one canine in the line of duty this past week. We'll look at their stories first, then take a look at this year's statistics at the end. Deputy Sheriff Charles Rivette of the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office in Texas, end of watch, Wednesday, February 21st of 2024. Deputy Sheriff Charles Rivette was killed in a crash on Southbound Interstate 45 in Centerville, Texas at 10.30 p.m. Deputy Rivette was a passenger in a patrol vehicle transporting an inmate from Oklahoma to Montgomery County when it was struck by a tractor trailer. Unable to stop, two tractor trailers crashed into the back of the patrol vehicle. The impact forced the vehicle into the northbound lanes. Deputy Rivette was thrown out of the vehicle and was hit by a pickup truck traveling in the northbound lanes. The other deputy, the inmate, and one of the tractor trailer drivers also suffered serious injuries. Deputy Rivette had served with the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office for 18 years. He is survived by his wife and children. His son also serves with the agency. Police Officer Wisbens Antoine of the Knoxville Police Department in Tennessee. End of watch, Sunday, February 25th of 2024. Police Officer Wisbens Antoine passed away after collapsing at the completion of a 1.5 mile run during basic recruit training on February 23rd of 2024. The training staff provided life-saving measures until he could be transported to the UT Medical Center. His condition worsened and he passed away on February 25th of 2024. Officer Antoine had served with the Knoxville Police Department for one day. He was a member of the 2023 B Basic Recruit Class. He is survived by his wife and two children. He was 32 years old. K-9 Luca of the DeSoto County Sheriff's Office in Mississippi, end of watch, February 21st of 2024. K-9 Luca was shot and killed after a vehicle pursuit in Lake Cormorant in Mississippi. A subject fled in a vehicle from DeSoto County Sheriff's deputies on Highway 61. The car crashed after deputies deployed a pit maneuver near Star Landing Road. When the subject's vehicle stopped, K-9 Luca was unleashed. The subject fired at K-9 Luca, striking him. Deputies returned fire, killing the subject. K-9 Luca was transported to the veterinary hospital where he succumbed to his wounds. K-9 Luca had served with the DeSoto County Sheriff's Office for four years and previously served with the Army 7th Special Forces Group, Multipurpose Canine Combat Tracking Detachment at Elgin Air Force Base in Florida for five years. He was 11 years old. There have been 21 reported line of duty deaths this year, which matches last year's total for the same time frame, with auto crash and gunfire combining for over half the causes. Here's the current graph for line of duty gunfire deaths for this year and the last five years. We've also lost three canines this year, which is one fewer than the four we had lost at the same time last year. All three canines died due to gunfire, which similar to officers is the most common cause of line of duty deaths historically. I've got a canine graph this week. This shows the gunfire deaths each year going back to 2020. Along with the three this year, the second number is the overall total of canine deaths. Thank you for your service.